वीकेंड शो मैं आपकी होस्ट लैला खालिद एंड आई होप एवरीबडी इज फाइन क्योंकि आजकल तो हमारा मौसम भी इतना अच्छा है तो क्यों ना हम इस मौसम का फायदा उठाएं क्योंकि हम बेचारे यूके में तो आठ आठ महीने नौ नौ महीने सर्दी में थर 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 करते रहते हैं चलिए मौसम की बात तो होती रहेगी और दूसरी बातें भी होती रहेगी लेकिन आज के वीकेंड शो पे हमारे जो गेस्ट हैं वो एक बहुत ही टैलेंटेड हार्ड वर्किंग मॉडल फिटनेस मॉडल हॉलीवुड एक्टर तो आइए मुलाकात करते हैं डेरियस डार खान से हेलो डेरियस हाउ आर यू एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग टू माई शो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू दैट हाउ डिट यू स्टार्ट यूर जर्नी बींग एन एक्टर Um, I did a lot of acting training at the acting schools, um, uh, and then uh, someone saw me. I did a photo shoot in a magazine, a fitness magazine, in my stomach, and uh, a film producer asked me to be in a film, which was a small budget film. But that's how I started. That was my first little film I did, which wasn't a big budget film, but it was a good show reel, and that show reel was helpful for me to get into other things like Game of Thrones. Yeah. Dave is you also a fitness uh, fitness model fitness as model, well. Yeah. And I I know that being a fitness model is quite difficult because yeah. you have to work so hard on your body. You yeah. have to watch what you eat. You have to, you know, make a schedule that you are going at this this time to the gym and this is what I have to eat sugar mm. cut. How I mean, how do you do that? Um, you know, it just becomes a lifestyle. It becomes habit. Um you know you can't eat certain foods because it just ruin your career so you have to think of it that way this is how i make money as a fitness model for la muscle as a fashion model for house of icons and lots of different other fashion brands and as a um as an actor you just got to stay in shape so it's my job you know what i mean so there's not a lot of discipline involved it's like you got to do it you know you got to be on a diet this is the way i live so you don't eat no mithai no ghee no asian food nothing no asian food no That's so sad. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. You know what, Darius? Mm. Honestly, I mean, I do fitness as well. Yeah, I do, do exercise as well. I've trained with you. Yes, that's I've right. With you, and yeah. I, I do. You know, we've I'm, been to the gym. We've done yes, that, haven't we? Yes, we've done definitely. it. We've done and it. To be really honest, and you're going to come have another workout with me. You're going to have another uh, one. I will definitely. All right. Yeah. But I think you are very tough. Was I too tough on you? You were too I'll tough. I'll ease up <laughs> next time. I'll ease up next time. I said, Darius. You know I do fitness as well I and know. when I go to like different restaurants yeah. even my neighbors when they cook something the yeah. smell of asian food yeah. is so like you know it's addictive it's yeah so addictive yeah. it's so attractive it as is. well it is. and I just want to eat you want to eat it so yeah. what do you do i mean do you just um control yourself or do you just say that's it i don't want no masala no oil nothing no mithai nothing no laddu yeah nothing this is what i have to eat and this is what i have to you know maintain my body mm, i just know put myself in those situations i don't eat out um i don't go to these kind of restaurants i always eat at home my food is made for me at home so i'm never in a situation where i could be tempted you know what i mean Yeah. I have worked with you in a few occasions yeah. and the way you've done the attack walk fashion thing and I remember fashion, yeah. that everybody was eating all the models yeah. they were eating like pizza yeah. or garlic bread yeah. but I remember you had some kind of very um a different food yeah. like sushi or uh, yeah, with sushi. less salt and less fat yeah. and you are you were so strict yeah with that yeah. do you carry your this kind of food everywhere Yeah, I do. I have to carry pieces of, you know, little these little plastic boxes with me, you know. I take the supplements from LA Muscle, which is just easy to carry around, you know. So yeah, I do carry a lot of stuff with me, but um I'm at home a lot of the times right now getting ready for things, so I do a lot of my stuff at home. But yeah, when I do have to go out, I have to take stuff with me, you know, take food pre-made. So, all right. So tell me the experience mm. being a LA fitness model. It's brilliant, you know. Um me and my manager Savita K, who you know, she's a friend of yours too. That's right. Um she's uh we had a few offers from a few different fitness companies to do for me to do modeling for them and we sat down at the table at my lawyer's office and we kind of just went through which was the best offer for me and I decided to work with LA Muscle. Out of all the nutritional companies that wanted to work with me, I decided to work with LA Muscle because um you know that they, they have the natural products there's no side effects there's no kidney problem you don't drink it and feel like you've drunk a load of, of cement or sand or something it's it's clean it's clean product so i thought you know i'm going to work with elin muscle and i made the right decision i made the, the right, right decision. decision yeah absolutely <laughs> my physique has changed so much working with them you know they've been supplying me with all my nutrition and a uh, great company to work with elin muscle if you want to get in shape i highly recommend elinmuscle.com the best products on the planet So when it comes to fitness yeah. I mean you have to work hard every day every you day. exercising every day yeah. you have to avoid the certain foods as yeah, well yeah 
wow, I can't do that, Darius. Yes, you can. You can do <laughs> it. I can't do yeah. that. No, well, you did, you're in good shape right now, so you must have been doing it, you know? No, I do exercise a lot. I yeah. mean, I do exercise a lot, but sometimes, you know, because our food is so delicious, yeah. and I have to have, even if it's not one Niwale, I have to have probably three, two Niwalas. Yeah. And also, I want to ask you one thing as well. Yeah. I know Darius Darhan, you're, you have to tell me something about, and our viewers as well, about yeah. your background as yeah. well. Yeah. So where do you come from? Um, Afghanistani, uh, born here. Um, I live in Knightsbridge. Um, very sort of Western culture, but I do love our culture. You know, I, I do love it very much. You know, it's similar to your culture. Do I you speak Urdu, Afghani? I speak a little bit. It's not thoda thoda bolti hu. It is main thoda thoda bolta hu. Oh yeah, I have to learn that one. I have to learn so that Darius, one. So yeah. Darius, do don't you get like you know uh, when when you work to, when you work with Asian people as yeah, well, and yeah. you know everybody speaking uh, yeah. whether it's Hindi or whether it's Urdu or whether it's any other languages, yeah, yeah. and you don't you get like you know okay, I don't speak this language, so oh. don't you feel like that you have to learn this, oh, this language? Oh yeah, I mean I learned a little bit for a Bollywood film that I did, so I understand bits and pieces. Um, but you know, as long as you get on with people, the language is never a barrier. You know, me and you always get on well, don't we? You know, we always have a good time working together. So language never really. Yeah, I tried to teach you anyway, Urdu as well. You tried to teach <laughs> me. Yeah, we need to do some more lessons. But you failed. <laughs> you failed. Yes, you failed. You have to lie and tell the audience I did really well to make me look more intelligent. You know, otherwise you make well, me look I like a dumbbell head. Just someone going. Oh, just dumbbells and exercises. That's not me. No, I've got a little <laughs> bit of a brain as well. I hope you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Darius, you know, we're as a fitness model, yeah. and then you do modeling as well. Yeah, fashion, fashion modeling, modeling yeah. and uh, you also do uh, catwalk. Cat so runway, can you just yeah. tell us about your uh, being a catwalk and fashion model? Yeah, um, I work with uh, House of Icons, which is owned by Savita K, who's a good friend of yours, lovely, lovely, beautiful woman, who's also my manager. She's the CEO of House of Icons, and she's taken that organization into the stratosphere. Um, yeah, uh, I do catwalk runway modeling for them. I'm, I'm a lead male model for them and I bring a lot of designers to the show. So I really enjoy that. Oh, September 17th, Millennium Hotel Mayfair. That's the that's next place I'm going to be. I'm going to be there on the catwalk. I'm doing about seven or eight catwalks. Um, September 17th, Millennium Hotel Mayfair. That's this year and it's a tribute to, to Prince. Darius, so, you know, you have worked in uh, Hollywood, uh, yeah. the worldwide watchable program Game of Thrones. Yeah. It is the most famous uh, drama series which has been watched over millions of people around the world. And I know you were in there. So how was the experience being in Game of Thrones, being around all the uh, Bolly uh, sorry, Hollywood uh, actors and actresses? Mm. Yeah, it was great. Um, they're really friendly. I worked with Tama Hassan, who is a friend of a few friends of mine. And I worked with Amelia Clark. They were very welcoming. They were very helpful, you know, absolute professionals. I just felt at home with everyone. Everyone was so professional and friendly. You know, it was like I come here to your studio, everyone's so friendly. It was the same thing over there. So, you know, we just made a lot of friends, had a lot of laughs, and um, got, the, got the shoots done. It was great. I had a really good time, Re really good experience. They took care of me. They chauffeur drove me everywhere, put me in posh hotels, paid for my food. They really take care of me, you know? Darius, you have yeah. very different look for Game of Thrones because yeah. I, I watched your Game of Thrones yeah. as well and I saw your pictures as well. Mm. And you had that beard, yeah. very different looks. I yeah. mean, you look like a gladiator. Yeah, well, I'm a gladiator, <laughs> yes, aren't I? I'm, a, I'm gladiator. the dark warrior. I'm the dark warrior. <laughs> That's what you've been saying. I'm a yeah. dark warrior. I'm the dark warrior. Everything I get cast <laughs> yes. for, they say we need a dark warrior. So they come and to me. And that's what they said, Darius. Come on, you have to be on the set. We want the Dark Warrior. <laughs> Absolutely. They put my face on the cover of a book. My face on the cover of, of, of Alan Smalley's newest book. And he said to W Athletics, the modeling agency, I need a Dark Warrior. And they called me. They said, Darius, you're doing this book cover. I said, where's the audition? They said, no audition. We need you. So this is the kind of role I get. Uh, the film 300, Rise of an Empire. That's right, They did yes. the advertising campaign for that. They chose me to do that because I look like a warrior. Game of Thrones was the same thing. They said, we need a Dark Warrior. Let's choose this guy. It was, you know, yeah. this is my look, and I'm, I'm happy with that. It's getting, yeah, it's, it's getting it's work. It's getting work. It's getting work. Yeah, I but you have paid. like all this beard and very different look. And there's a yeah. picture of you, yeah. and you look really angry. You like looking at like yeah. this, and I'm like, oh my god, you definitely look like a gladiator. Yeah. You definitely look like a warrior. Yeah. And that look made you look really famous as well. Yeah, yeah. It was a different. They had a beard. It made me look a lot older because I was supposed to play an older character. Would you keep a beard? No, I don't like beards. No, they look very good in fashion nowadays. 
days. Yeah, but I don't I follow fashion. Everyone, Bollywood, Hollywood, yeah. Lollywood, know, everyone on the world. Everybody's keeping their beard I now. Know, they and are, sometimes yeah. they trim their beard, some kind of design. Yeah. There's a line going on here. Oh, and sometimes God, they're really know. heavy. And sometimes on. they like a square hair. Yeah, no, I'm not into that. I don't, like that. Into I, that. I don't follow fashion. I'm a fashion model, <laughs> but I don't follow fashion. I do what I want to do. You, you know? have to say, I'm a fashion model and I am the fashion. I'm the fashion. That's it. You are fashion for everybody. You should follow me. That's right. Yes, we should follow you. Especially your fitness routine, we should follow Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yeah. Stay healthy, stay healthy, eat healthy. So, yeah. Darius, also tell us that um, okay, you do like a catwalk modeling, yeah. and uh, sometimes you uh, this is what I've heard before your show that you work really hard in the gym. Yeah. You have to be make sure that your fitness is accurate, everything is like perfect, yeah. so you can fit into the clothes as well. And yeah. you are the main person that who opens the catwalk shows yeah. as well for London Fashion Week. Yeah. Welcome back to the weekend show. जहाँ हम डेरिया से इतनी बातें कर रहे थे चले आइए और उनसे बातें करते हैं और इनका एक्सपीरियंस पूछते हैं कि उनका एक्सपीरियंस हॉलीवुड में कैसा रहा so Darius also tell us that um, okay you do like a uh, catwalk modeling yeah. and uh, sometimes you uh, this is what I've heard before your show that you work really hard in the gym yeah. you have to be make sure that your fitness is accurate everything is like perfect yeah. so you can fit into the clothes as well and yeah. you are the main person that who opens the catwalk shows yeah. as well for London Fashion Week yeah. how do you feel about this um, yeah, I just just my job, you know. It's sort of like a responsibility of a job, just stay in shape. It's a lot of pressure sometimes, but it's very rewarding, you know. So I don't mind doing. It. I mean, I, I do a job that I love. So there are parts of your job that you don't like, but I'm just so happy. There's a lot of people doing office jobs; they don't enjoy them. You know, they go to nine to five. They're mad. Some they don't like. They got a horrible lifestyle. You know, I like everything about my life. If it's a little bit hard work, dieting, training hard, I'll do it because I enjoy you it. You do it. You are very motivated. You are very enthusiastic. I, 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 you, I don't you care. You focus, you know, like your focus is Absolutely. Uh, 100% uh -huh. on your I, career. I'm one of these people, I don't care how heavy that weight is in the gym, I will lift it. I don't care how crap that food tastes. If it's going to transform my body, I will do it. I don't care how many vitamin tablets I have to swallow, <laughs> I will do it. You know, I'm one of these kind of people, you know. Talking about vitamins. Yeah. Is there anything that you can tell our viewers as well about the vitamins? Because uh, sometimes, you know, people want to, not about that people have yeah. to take like fat burner or something yeah. to lose weight. Yeah. They can probably have something really natural yeah. to lose weight or yeah. eat like a probably small portion. Yeah. Because, you know, Asian people or anywhere, you know, we like to have like nice food, which smells nice, which mm. tastes nice. Mm -hmm. we, we sometimes we avoid the grilled food as well. Mm -hmm. So is there anything you could tell our viewers about that if they want to take any vitamins, which yeah. can help them to reduce the weight? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, a vitamin supplement to help you lose weight and stay trim. I would say Thermoxin is a very good one uh, by LA Muscle. It's a product I use to get in shape before a show to get really lean. I take that. Um, and just generally just reduce the carbohydrates and just change your fats. Have, have the good healthy fats, but don't have the fried horrible nasty ones and just keep the carbohydrates low. Take a good fat burning supplement like uh, vitamin with like thermoxin mm -hmm. and just keep your lifestyle stress free. That's the best advice I can give anyone. There's no point in me overcomplicating it because it's, it's no good and it doesn't really work. Keep it simple. You have also trained many people yeah. uh, as a fitness trainer yeah. and some celebrities as well. Yeah. How was your experience with them? Uh, yeah, they were nice. Um, I don't do personal training anymore because now the modeling and the acting has taken off. Um, but yeah, when I was younger, I used to do a lot of personal training and diet advice and stuff like that to people. It was something I enjoyed, but um, I knew it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life, you know? Okay, tell me. Uh, tell me and my viewers who are watching you right now we really want to know about his hollywood experience mm. which is a big thing yeah being in hollywood is a big 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 thing yeah. you know you can be in bollywood you can yeah. be in Hollywood, you yeah. can be anywhere in the industry yeah. but hollywood is the biggest industry in the world is, yeah so how was the experience when you went to la and then you work in game of thrones as well yeah and you have to travel around the world because i think they have been uh doing shooting like new zealand or uh, somewhere around uk or yeah. in america or different uh, different uh, locations locations yeah. in the world as yeah. well yeah um uh do you know it was one of these things that made me think my career is going in the right direction when you get to that level you think well now it's on its way up do you know what i mean it was just reassuring for me to know that the hard work is paying off and that i'm doing the right thing that's what i can tell you um 
I think because when I was in it, I was so focused on my work and learning my script and learning the new language. I had to learn the Dothraki language. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I had to stay in really good shape. So I was dieting really hard. I was just so focused on my work. I didn't get any, uh, I, didn't, I didn't take it all in at that time. Um, so I can't really tell you because mentally I wasn't there. I was just focusing on my work. Do you know what I mean? It's like I was there, but I wasn't because I was focusing on my work. But You are an extremely professional person. Very Thank professional you. person I've ever met. Takes one to know yeah. one. Thank you. <laughs> very, very professional because yeah. I know that when you uh, when you have any kind of work, which is really big work, uh, like Game of Thrones, yeah. you you don't you have no distractions yeah. and uh, you are you know really really strict with mm. your fitness uh, regime and uh, food as well. Yeah, I've diet. I'm very disciplined. You are very famous being a professional person in the industry. But there's one thing I have to ask you. Sorry. I know you have experience with uh, Hollywood yeah. and the other UK industry as well. How yeah. was your experience being in Asian industry? Um, you know, I love Asian people because I'm Asian myself and I love working with you. I come to the studio here and made 100,000 friends, got 100,000 telephone numbers off of all your people here at work, camera crew and everything, made loads of new friends. I love Asian people, but I just think their business culture doesn't suit me, do you know? Um, I worked, I did a, f a Bollywood film, I had a lead role in a Bollywood film and I didn't really enjoy it, you know, so every time I've done business with them, I haven't enjoyed the business side of it. The personal interpersonal has been fine. So Darius, yeah. I know that you have been working in fitness and you know, you started your career, you have been in, the, in this industry for a very long time. So can you just tell us that how did you get into this industry? I mean, what came in your mind that, you know, okay, I want to be a fitness model. I want to be an actor. Yeah. Were you inspired by someone? Um, you know, when I was a kid, I always used to look at Stallone and I used to say, yeah, I want to be like that. Um, then I got into private security uh, when I was younger. I used to work as a bodyguard, as a nightclub bouncer, uh, all the London nightclubs. And um, people used to say to me, oh man, you should be an actor, you should be a model everywhere I used to go. People used to say to me, you should be an actor, and I used to be a mo you should be a model. I never really took it seriously, you know, but then people started approaching me for shoots and stuff like that. So then, um, yeah, I kind of got into it, you know. And, uh, you know, when you are a bodyguard, yeah. I know it's a very difficult job. Yeah. You well, when I was, I'm not anymore. Yeah, was, it's like yeah. you have to have two eyes here, yeah. two eyes at the back, yeah. and one eye here. So yeah. you have so many eyes, yeah. you have to make sure your yeah. ears are clean yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, clean. I mean, it might be really tough. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Enjoy, I mean, it was nice. It was good money, and they, I got to travel around the world a lot with my clients and stuff like that. But I always knew it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life, you know. But you, you. I mean, you started. You know, like you loved your bodyguard. Yeah, and I loved uh, doing bodyguard you, work at the time. Is that right that you used to do boxing as well? I used to box. Yeah, I used to box a little bit. Yeah, so that's why my nose looks so bad. But you know. You know any? Okay, mm. so. I would tell my old TV99 here that, yeah. you know, we, we shouldn't be doing anything wrong to you because if you've been in boxing and yeah. seeing uh, your fitness as well, you yeah. might be a really strong person. Yeah, yeah, So we have yeah. to be careful. No, I'm Do I'm you think I should ask you the IQ level question? Uh, <laughs> you might yeah. say, Lela, <laughs> don't. I'm probably going to fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thousands of people are watching, they're going to say, Lela, don't. You're going to make me like a right dumbbell head. Or now. maybe if I train with you, you can tell me, Lala, yeah. you have to do 200 sit ups. That's your punishment because you asked me the questions for my IQ level. You're putting me on the spot <laughs> yes. now, aren't you? you put I me put on you spot. on the yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll so try you my can best. tell me, that's it, Lala. If you're training with me, yeah. I want you to run two hours. I want you to do 200 sit ups. That can be my punishment. All right, you got it. You asked for it, Isn't you did it. it. Next okay. time we work out, you're in for it. I always test my um, guest. So let's start the riddle with Darius Darkhan. We know that he's very good in fitness, he's very good at acting, and he's very good learning scripts. But now it's time for him to do riddles. Darius, I'm gonna be very serious when I'm gonna ask you the riddles. Are you ready? You're putting me on the spot. You're gonna make me look like a right dumbbell head because I'm gonna get this all <laughs> wrong, but well, let's Are try. Are you let's ready try. for the challenge? I'm ready, let's try. <laughs> okay, my first question to you. What begins with T, yeah. ends with T, yeah. and has T in it? Uh, what, uh, teapot. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Yes, you are right, teapot. teapot. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, right. Very nice. Okay. But it's not over yet. Oh, there's more? There's more coming. There there's are. more coming to you. If you are new to the color box, like different colors, yeah. but there's one color is missing. Yeah. What color would you be and why? Oh, like make up my own color? 
you have to choose the color. Oh, I have to choose an existing color, right? Yes, okay. there's so many colors, but there's yeah. one color missing that yeah. you can decide whatever color yeah. is and why. Um, purple. purple. Purple, and why purple? Because September 17th, House of Icons show, Millennium Mayfair, is, th is the purple <laughs> show. So I'm going to go purple this I season. I like that. <laughs> I'm going to go purple this season. For anyway, my last question to you, which is very easy question, yeah. but it's very nice question yeah. as well. If you would be any animal in the world, yeah. what would you be and why? Um, I would be like an eagle or a hawk or something like that that flies very high. It's fast and it's a predator and it's strong and it's freedom. And why is Free, that? Freedom, freedom. Freedom. freedom so travel. that was a very good answer yeah. because most of the people they want to become like uh, they want to be eagle or. Uh, um, a bird but not parrot parrot talks too much yeah but it's a freedom as well you can fly anywhere hey then you don't need visa for anywhere there is the fly <laughs> you can just fly without any visa hi right. I'm here I'm, I'm here, here. I'm, I'm here. traveling around the world That's it. yeah freedom because <laughs> I've got wings there you go yeah <laughs> well Darius you have passed my riddle section and I don't know what to give you as a present, mm. but the only thing probably uh, I can give you is... Uh, I was expecting a check. <laughs> I was expecting a check with some money, but it's okay. We can give you a check, but yeah. to be really honest, I don't know how to sign the check. Serious? <laughs> 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 Let's take another break as okay. well. Okay. So, we take a small break. Welcome back to the weekend show. Now, we were talking about Darius and he was telling us that his favorite country is which favorite country is which जिनपे उन्होंने मेंशन किया कि दुबई एंड साइप्रस जो कि बहुत ही हॉट कंट्रीज हैं चलिए आइए डेरियस से और बातें करते हैं डेरियस डू यू थिंक आई प्रोनाउंसिंग योर नेम राइट डेरियस 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 आपके नाम का मतलब क्या है लेट्स टॉक उर्दू लेट्स टेस्ट ये उर्दू ओह नो आई वांट टू एम्बेस माय नाउ देयर वाज अ रूलर ऑफ पर्शिया ईरान एरिया हिज नेम वाज डेरियस that's where the name comes from. It's a powerful name. Powerful it's a powerful person. name, yes, and you've me. got that name, so you yeah. became very powerful. Yeah. He was a warrior, so He's it a suits warrior, me. Yes. Yeah. And I get all the parts for the warriors, so that's all good, you know? So, Darius, you mm. love your fitness, yeah. and I, I, I understand that we have talked before about your fitness yeah. and yeah. Uh, how focused you are. Yeah. So, tell us about your fitness regime. Um, yeah, I just train every day until I feel that my body needs a break. If it needs a break, I'll take a day off, but not very often. Even on my day off, I do a lot of stretching, very hard stretching to keep me flexible, keep the blood flowing into the muscles. But yeah, I like to train every day. It just keeps me mentally, mentally right, you know. It's become addictive, you know, but in a good way. It's a good addiction, better than yes. smoking or any crap like that, you know. So yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. So I mean. it's really good because you never touch like smoking. Never you have never touched alcohol. Never drunk in my life. Yeah, wow. I mean I've never drunk uh, any a glass of alcohol. Never done that. And you never touch a cigarette as well. I've never you smoked a cigarette in my life. Not That's even in your life. I drink, don't drink any fizzy drinks. Wow. Yeah, I don't. Uh, so you drink like water. Darius, do you think that uh, sometimes people work really hard in yeah, the gym yeah. and they're just working out like yeah. three hours, yeah. two hours, yeah. sometimes they can go for four hours as well. Yeah. Do you think that we should have at least a time or a break yeah. to recover our bodies? Um, you, sh you do need that, but your body will tell you, you will feel when you need a break. You, you know, your muscle will be hurting too much or you'll feel something in your body where your body will tell you I need a break that's when you take a day or two off and just go to the sauna and relax and do what you got to do but yeah and is that right that when you have a break uh, during your exercises yeah. you can see that uh, muscles are developing and you can see your body is getting into shape as well I can because I've got very low levels of body fat so I can sort of see through my skin um, but I think if you've got a high percentage of body fat it's not very obvious it is happening you are changing all the time while you're exercising um, but more visible in people who have low body fat percentages. A very personal question to mm. you, which I'm sure you will be thinking that I should ask this question. But I have to ask this question that I should ask this question. Is there someone in their life or not? Are you seeing someone? No, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm so single. you are single? I'm single, yeah. Ladies, he is single. He's not seeing anyone. No. And Darius is a single. <laughs> और वो हंस रहे हैं इस वक्त कि ये मैंने बात क्यों अपने व्यूवर्स को बता रही कि वो सिंगर है। Are you ready singer? Ready to mingle? एक बहुत ही मशहूर ये यहाँ पर you know कि there's a very famous say here, singer ready to mingle. 
It's funny you say that because in my last interview, I said exactly that. I said I was single and ready to mingle, you know? <laughs> but I'm not, I just said it because it rhymes. But no, no, I'm not ready to mingle. What kind of women you like? Does she have to be fit like you? <sighs> or you are just flexible, you know? Um, I like women who take care of themselves, women who look up, groomed very well, nicely, take care of themselves. I like women who can take care of children, who are very maternal, very nurturing. You know, they're like looking after kittens and puppies and stuff like that. That's the kind of woman I like. You love animals. Love animals, yeah. I, I do a lot of um, contributions to animal charities and stuff like that. I love animals, yeah. You used to have uh, an animal. I think I remember it was a little kitten. I had a little kitten, yeah. And you know that they gave that kitten the name of that kitten? Fawzia. Yeah. And she was so sweet, she was so small, and uh, she was around probably... Do you remember? I can't believe I, you I remember. remember. Oh. I, I cannot... Uh, every time when the Fawzia name comes up, yeah. I'm like, Darius used to have this kitten, Fawzia. Yeah. And she was really tiny. She was tiny. She didn't grow. She didn't grow up. She didn't grow. <laughs> she had like four or five brothers and they grew big. Really? And I think she was the youngest one, the small, they, they call them the runt of the litter, the one that doesn't grow so well. And she didn't grow too big and she just stayed tiny and she was so cute. And everyone thought she was a kitten, but she was fully grown. But if you get cats from Poland, they don't grow as big as the one's hair. So I think maybe she was from one of those countries, I don't know. All right, so, yeah, so she was I mean, tiny. You, you like, so if you get any animals from Poland, they yes. will stay small? I've heard that, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm, I'm sure that the cats in Poland are a lot smaller. So maybe she was one of those cats, I don't know. Actually, people say that dog yeah. is your best friend. Yeah. Fozia was your best friend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was your best friend. Yeah. So do you miss her? And where is she now? <laughs> she got stolen. She got stolen. Somebody stole her from me, you know, but that's another big, horrible subject. But yeah, she got stolen. We won't talk about we it. We won't talk about that because I miss my little cat, you know. But um, she was my only friend I had in my life, you know. Oh, bless. I'm yeah. sure Darius. Uh, people say that, you know, my pet <coughs> is my best friend. She was the only friend in my life, yeah. you know, cats. But yeah. you may have very good friends as well. Yeah. Some of the well, friends. like you. You're a good friend of mine. <laughs> I've known you for years, you know. <laughs> you have known me for yeah. years. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Darius, okay, yeah. we go, go, we're going to go back again to your um, acting career. Right, right, right. Which I really wanted to ask yeah. you some other question. Yeah. In Game of Thrones, yeah. um, because uh, the language is different in yeah. that drama series yeah. and uh, the words they use yeah. are very, very hard yeah. and very hard to pronounce yeah. as well. And yeah. the English is absolutely different. Yeah. It's like you speaking a queen's and king's language on that time. So how was it with you when they gave you script and you have to write, you have to actually uh, memorize them, you have to read it and you have to read it in front of camera as well. Did you have any retakes or did you find it really hard to do it? Well, you know what, the language director that they um, gave to me to, uh, to, to help me with the language, she said I was the best one she's ever come across. Out of all of the actors who did Game of Thrones, I was the best one to pick up the language quickly. Um, so I found it really easy. The Dothraki language that I had to learn, it's, it's, it's a whole language that they invented and it's a mixture of, I think there's some Hindi in it, there's some Urdu in it, there's some Arabic in it, there's some German in it, it's a mixture. And I found it quite easy to learn. So it was easy for me, wasn't it? I'm good at learning scripts anyway. That's really good. Darius, in Game of Thrones, they have see, they, there are so many scenes yeah. uh, in Game of Thrones yeah. um, and it's like freezing cold. Yeah, oh, it was freezing cold in Ireland. Is that Ireland. right? Yeah, where, I, did, where did you guys go? <laughs> how did you cope with that? I mean, how, I tell you, how was your experience? It's you know, like freezing and they are acting, you know, big coats, jackets, and then they have like red cheeks and they're doing the shoot and you are there as well as a warrior. How was your experience in such a cold weather? It was really hard. I was in Belfast, Northern Ireland shooting my scenes and it, it was in November and you know what November is like oh, in, yeah, in this country, in the UK, it was freezing. It was, it was, it was so cold that um, I just, I, I, I didn't want to do it, you know, but you're there and you've got to do it in the pain. You have to do it, yeah, you've got to do it, you have so to do it. I was do freezing, it. I was free and I was dieting at the time. So I didn't have enough calories to burn to give my body heat. So I was really cold, you know. It must be really difficult for you. Um, yeah, sometimes it's difficult, but you do it, you know. You do it. If you really want that, you have to pay the price, don't you, you know. That's so right. Mm. Darius, I know you are very strict with your food. Mm, mm. But what is your favorite food? And can you make aghwani pilau? Because if you can make it, we're going to keep you here today. Yeah. And make sure yeah, you yeah. make us aghwani pilau. We won't. <laughs> We're not going to let you go. You have to make aghwani pilau for us. Yeah. So what's your favorite like food, Asian food? And uh, what do you like to eat the most? 
Please don't talk about fitness food. No, no, something no, 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 no. very different. Some, something that, something that tastes very nice. Delicious. Yeah. yeah, something I like, very nice. Um, I like thin crust pizza, very thin, like with a crisp base, you know, not the big, thick, doughy thing. I like the thin one, you know, with lots of vegetables on it, which is healthy, but it tastes good too. Funny enough, that's yeah. my favorite as well, because I had that pizza, which yeah. was really thin, yeah. and it had like less calories. Yeah, less calories, and less carbs. And trust me, I yeah. finished that pizza in 10 minutes. Yeah, easily. Yeah. I was just loving and it. And it's light, it's light. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, the taste was good, and it was so thin, and so I was thin. just eating, and I'm like thinking, Lela. Next time I'm coming, I'm just going to have this pizza. Absolutely. It's better than having the thick base one because it's got lots of carbohydrates and it make you fat, you know? So go for the thin one. I like that. I like, um, I like, like uh, spaghetti bolognese, you know? Um, if you do it with the right kind of pasta, it's good for you too, you know? I like lots of fruits. The salad, chopped up fruits is my salad, you know? Um, what else do I like? Yeah, just... So Darius? Your food is, I mean, you, you, we talk about your food as well. And now, you know, we all believe that because of your food, that's why you stay in that shape mm, as well. Mm, mm. Before I go, I want to say thank you to you that you came to my show. You've been a wonderful guest and uh, we wish you all the best in the future. If you can tell us what your future plans are, is there any secret movie you are doing? There's a few films I've been booked in for. Can't say anything because of contracts, but watch out because I'm going to be doing very well in the media. You're going to see me all over the place soon. My Facebook is Darius Darkon. Uh, my website is DariusDarkon.com. And my Instagram is Darius Darkon. So watch out for me. Houseoficons.com. Thank you to, to my beautiful manager, Savita K, for managing me and getting my career out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Darius. And uh, wish you all the best. चले नाजरीन आपको हमारे डेरे से मुलाकात बहुत अच्छी लगी होगी हमने इनसे काफ़ी बातें की और इनसे बातें करने का बहुत मज़ा आया जहाँ पर हमने फिटनेस के बारे में भी काफ़ी मालूम हुई लेकिन जाने से पहले आपको ये भी बताते चलूँ कि अभी ये प्रोग्राम का अख्ताम नहीं हुआ है हम एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेते हैं और ब्रेक के बाद इस प्रोग्राम में आपको और भी बहुत कुछ दिखाया जाएगा